how to use the safety syringe. This here is a safety syringe. Its price is comparable to a standard syringe and its uses, usage is relatively easy. First, you want to go ahead and remove the cap. Then, you want to insert it needle into the container. You want to remove as much of the liquid as you would like. Okay, then you want to go ahead and remove the needle from the container. Then you want to go ahead and inject into the area. Make sure you aspirate as usual. I'm not going to be aspirating in this demo, but this syringe will be able to provide that kind of action so you can still aspirate. You want to slowly inject it to the area, very, very slowly. You want to make sure you give it a push right at the end to make sure all the liquid is injected. You want to take the needle out from the area and just let the thing go and it will retract back into its compartment just like this. This provides safety to its users to prevent contamination of the used needle by accidental puncture. Now I'm gonna set that aside and I wanna show you another method in which if you choose not to hold on to the syringe after its use, you can also put it into a sharp container or bin in which the needle will also retract back into the compartment on its own. You will not have to hold on to the syringe. So right now, you want to go ahead and remove the cap. Okay. As usual, you want to go ahead and give it a pull. Remove as much liquid. Let's pretend we're removing some liquid. Then you want to go ahead and inject it into the area. You want to aspirate as usual, like earlier. And you want to go ahead and inject slowly. Okay. I'm going to give it a real good push, just like last time. And then this time, Instead of holding onto the syringe, I'm going to pretend that I'm going to put it right into the safety bin and I'm just going to let it go. And as you can see, the needle is back into its compartment.